Okay, in this clip we're going to uh, work on building an administrative shell. So, why would we have to uh, build an administrative shell? Some shops, uh, their customer service representative don't have access to the estimating system and we would like to get the administrative information in. Could be a tow-in. Uh, estimators just not prepared to, uh, to, to, put, to put the information in. So that's where an uh, administrative shell would come in, uh, in handy. Now you've got to keep in, in mind there's a business rule that uh, you have to turn on in order to be able to do this uh, because you can't import a zero uh, dollar estimate. So I want to say that's business rule 14. I'll double check on that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the administrative shell. And uh, we're going to go to new. And here we have an opportunity to create a new estimate. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go right to next. And we probably don't have a lot of information, so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, just type in the information. Okay, and the insurance company, if we know who the insurance company is, and we're going to select 21st Century, and what kind of vehicle is it? Um, this is going to be a 2009, and uh, we'll make it a Toyota. And it's going to be a, uh, a RAV. And the next we're going to go to finish and uh, close. So what happens is we're going to have a screen that we can come in and we can start to put a lot of additional information in if we have it. If we don't, um, we could do a shortcut and I'm going to take you back to the job. Okay. And here's my uh, administrative shell and you can drag and drop it to open ROs. So here it will walk you through the uh, steps and it's kind of much shorter from get, than going from screen to screen to screen. So um, we can go ahead and uh, if we have the sourcing information uh, we can go ahead and get that filled in. Anything with a red asterisk uh, we can get uh, filled in and uh, we'll put the uh, phone number in. And uh, again, if we have a claim number, if not, we can NA it. Uh, it would be important to go and use the drop down menu and select the estimator. And of course, you'll select the CSR. And uh, again, if we have a VIN number, we have to put something in, and it has to be uh, the 17 characters. Um, is it drivable or non drivable? Uh, we'll say this is a tow in, non drivable. And we'll pick the rent a car company. Now, obviously, we can't calculate uh, anything as far as how many labor hours on the job because we don't have any. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go to next. Now, when the scheduler comes up, we're going to select today's date and we're just going to go ahead and leave it where it's at. Now, when you print the RO pack, the window sticker, obviously, it's going to have a do it and do out date of the same day. So keep in mind that after we do disassembly, we establish the, uh, uh, the length of time it's going to take to repair the vehicle, we'll go ahead and reprint that uh, window sticker at that time. Uh, we're going to go to next. And here, uh, where it says job status, what is the job status? Well, this vehicle, if it's a tow and it's on lot, and the preferred method uh, was by cell phone, is how I would like to be contacted. And you can do a couple of things here. You can, uh, how frequently are you going to communicate with the customer in days or through production status? I prefer production status. Um, then I'm going to go to finish and I'm going to go to close. So here we have an administrative shell that we just brought in and we opened an RO. So as you can see, the RO, it's here still in, it's here and it's still in the estimate tab, right? As soon as I hit, okay it disappears no worries it's in the open RO and you just opened it and here is your vehicle right here on lot so now you have an administrative shell that should conclude this clip